Hey brothers and sisters in the Lord, family in the Lord, this is your sister and your girl Gina. Happy New Year, 2020. I can't believe it. It feels so weird. So weird. That is 2020. I, I just wanted to talk about how God is good. Just thanking God for his goodness, you know. Um, we're 19 days into this new year. The past couple years, I feel like you know um the countdown will happen and i'll be like okay whenever i get the chance to be by myself when the when it's turned midnight i just pray and i just thank god for all that he's done and i was a little bit sad because i was surprised because i saw a lot of people on my timeline you know who i love and care about too saying you know 2019 was whack uh 2020 vision can't wait for a new year etc you know the whole spiel that people give but a lot of people were saying you know 2019 was whack and everything like that i was just like you know lord a lot of things have happened in 2019 and i can either choose to be sunken down in despair at what has happened ask why it happened to me or why it happened to so and so or I can just choose to see your sovereign hand in everything and rejoice in you instead and that's what I want to do that's what I wanted to I don't really talk very personally about things that go on with me on uh, my YouTube channel but I have plenty of reasons in the eyes world or in um, our flesh to justify being ungrateful, unthankful um, for the trials that came or being uh, depressed and broken. Um, and I just thank God, I thank God that he just reminded me you know, not in a voice, but just the thought of he brought you through though, you know, he brought you through. You can either choose to make those, you can either choose to allow those trials and things that happen to overcome your mind. And this is not positive thinking. I'm not into any of that positive thinking stuff because you could be positive and lie to yourself. I want to be truthful and honest. And the only way to really be truthful and honest is with the Lord's truth of his word because he is the way and the truth and the life. You know, there's no one else like him. There's no one else besides him. Um, and I'm just like, thank you, Lord, for your word that it encourages me. Earlier last year, I got into a car accident, and it wasn't that bad of a car accident. What I went through as far as the trials of trying to get everything handled, the appraisal, all of those things, you know, I mean, it was a real struggle. And then I had, um, I had, you know, family issues kind of going on along with that intertwined, um, that kind of just like the Lord kind of like revealing some hurt that I had still that I didn't realize how bad I was hurt um and you know <laughs> I can't I can't even go on you know my father is is really sick you know I really don't want to go into details about that personally but my father's really sick and we don't have the best relationship with our father but choosing to love him with the love of Christ despite how he has been as a father or how he can tend to be um dealing with different car issues even later on after the accident and and bills and you know my uncle unfortunately passed away and you know we went to go see his, him at his funeral and we couldn't even make it to the funeral on our way there in time god really helped me with through the trials in 2019 honestly teaching me to pray I felt really attacked in my mind and I've openly talked about my struggle with that um, I worry a lot dealing a lot with worry um, anxiousness not like anxiety but like anxiousness worry 
uh, battling what other people think, things of that nature in some ways, uh, not with all things, but in some ways. And I feel like through the different trials that happened, I had to literally pray through my feelings. Pray, choosing to pray when I was really overwhelmed with my thoughts with the lies of the enemy in my head um, on what decisions to make and how to respond in a way that would honor Christ despite how I felt I had to pray through all of those things um, and then to see God just come through not at my timing but at his timing it's like I had to give the Lord all the more glory and honor and praise because of how intense it was um of how I was feeling really attacked in my mind you know where I could have just gave up and just said you know what forget it <laughs> I feel like I'm praying and nothing's really changing or whatever you know I had to hold on I had to hold on to God's word I had to hold on to what I know is true of what God says in his word of who he is of what he promises of what he's able to do trusting that he would give me wisdom trusting that he would be my counselor that he would lead me by his holy spirit trusting that he was hearing my prayers just trusting and a lot of times that's what the lord will do a lot of different things happen that i could easily be like you know what forget this year why even bother but no, I'm like, you know what, Lord? You are blessing me to be able to see a new year. You're showing me how merciful, how gracious you are that I would be able to see a new year. You are so good. Because I'm not even, you're not even deserving of life in a sense because of how sinful we are against the Lord and our nature how prone we are to oppose God and the things of God and yet he allows us even those who are atheists you know and skeptics even though they don't want to believe in him and they want to question his goodness or they want to question his existence even he allows them to still breathe out of his mercy that all would come to repentance you know I, I can't even I can't even like begin to explain I'm just like Lord help me to see help us to see that a new year and I've done a video on this before which I'll tag below you know a new year won't promise good things to happen it just won't <laughs> you know what I mean we we kind of lie to ourselves when we believe a new year means new things are new and great things are gonna happen sometimes you know what those new and great things come through trial come through sacrifice come through denying ourselves comes through us being humbled um, comes through sorrow You know, the word of God tells us that, you know, that we will have many troubles in this world. And I know I've said it so many times in my, in my videos, he says we will have many trials, but to take heart, he has overcome the world and him. Are we able to overcome those trials, those temptations, those sorrows, those worries, those griefs, those confusions? Only through Jesus Christ. Each and every single day. Each and every hour. 
every year that he allows us to live. It only can come through him. Our strength can only come through him. It doesn't matter if it's a new year. A new year can't guarantee anything. You or I don't even know if we'll make it through the new year. So why not yet rejoice? Rejoice in the fact that God has allowed you to be able to see a new year. To yes, in a sense, start over because new mercies we see in him. Praise the Lord for that. That each day new mercies we see. Great is his faithfulness unto us. But I want to number my days. I want to remember that as the days are getting darker, you know, instead of hoping or not hoping for an impeachment, instead of hoping the world will be kumbaya and peace and and hair grease and all of that stuff, instead of hoping and all of that, my hope has to come in the Lord. It can't come from anything else. It just can't. I just want to share some verses with y'all as I usually try to do just to just to get our focus on what God says about what we should do. And I read these challenging my own self and asking the Lord to help me honestly. James 1 verse 2 through 4. My brethren, count it all joy when you fall into diverse temptations knowing this that the trying of your faith works patience but let patience have her perfect work that you may be perfect and entire wanting nothing through these different trials and temptations that we'll have in this new year and for the rest of our lives we have to know that in the lord through those temptations through those trials is working it's supposed to be working a faith in us a faith not just in i can do great things but a faith in the lord a trust in the lord a better devotion in the lord that he will be glorified in our lives through our trials through whatever the new year may bring as scary as it is i don't know what the Lord has for you in this new year. I don't know for myself. And that could be really scary. That could be really scary. But you know what? Psalm 42 tells us. Why are you cast down, O oh my soul? Hope in the Lord. I'm often reminded of that verse. When I am cast down. When I'm afraid. When I'm scared. Lord. I am to hope in you, even through these trials, knowing that you're working everything for my good, that I might grow in you, that I might know the attributes of you and how great you are. James 1 verse 12, blessed is the man that endures temptation, for when he is tried, he shall receive the crown of life which the Lord has promised to them that love him. Praise the Lord. Whether I make it through the rest of this year or not, my hope is that me as a child of God, that I will receive my crown, that I will be in heaven with him. That has to be my hope, not in just a, a new year. Hebrews 4.15 For we have not a high priest which cannot be touched with the feeling of our infirmities. Again, that's the first few sentences of that verse. But I just really wanted to focus on that because look it. When you're going through your trials in this new year. When I'm going through my trials in this new year. We have to remember that we have a high priest. Not the Pope. Not whomever else. Christ Jesus. We have a savior. Who knows what we go through. Who himself went through those things. 
who is able to help us in our time of need. Psalm 28, 7 through 8. I've tried to memorize this verse, um, but my memory is terrible, but I do try. <laughs> the Lord is my strength and my shield. I trusted in him and I am helped. Therefore, my heart greatly rejoices and with my song, I will praise him. The Lord is their strength and he is the saving strength of his anointed. Oh my goodness, that verse. My heart should rejoice in the Lord because he is my help. When I trust in him, I am helped. You are helped when we trust in him, when we don't trust in ourselves, when we don't trust in someone else to, to satisfy us and other things to satisfy us, money to, to satisfy us, whatever it may be. When we trust in the Lord truly, not just so things can get better for us, because that's not promised, but when we trust in him truly and whatever he has planned, whatever the outcome might be, he helps us. He gives us strength to endure. Psalm 31, seven. I will be glad and rejoice in thy mercy for thou hast considered my trouble. He has considered your trouble. He has not forgotten you. Thou has known my soul in adversities. The Lord knows. Thank you, Jesus. He knows. In 1 Peter 5, verse seven. Cast your cares upon the Lord, for he cares for you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. In this new year and the rest of my life, all the days of my life, I want to trust that the Lord is my hope. I want to trust that he's going to help me. I want to remember that what he's done, what he'll continue to do, what his word says of of what of who he is and what he will continue to do because he's God and he holds true to his promises. I want to choose to rejoice in this year and I pray you do too. And I pray that you will pray that for yourself and for me too. Like I would pray for you. That when this year ends, if the Lord allows us to see it, that we won't say 2020 was whack. But that will say, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for getting me through many trials yet again. Thank you for being my strength, Lord. Amen. God bless you guys. Be strong in the Lord and the power of his might. Bye.